Hello everybody, and welcome back to Hunter Call of the Wild. <laughs> uh, we are going to be playing some Hirschfelden today. Uh, we have a story quest to be getting on with, so let's jump right in. Uh, my name is Dizzy, uh, if you haven't watched me before. Uh, I've been playing through this map, uh, through Medved, which you saw uh, on screen just a moment ago. Uh, I really adore this game. <laughs> um, it must be said. I put put like a hundred hours into this game on the very first map that I ever did. Uh, we are dropping right in. We are going to be heading off to... let's have a look. Uh, we're going to be heading off to the Rindeland Gord, which is over on the left here. Uh, in search of ultimately a, a dead bison. Uh, but I also have some quad biking I want to do. Flags always spook me. Uh, but first, there is one thing that we must always, always, always do in this game, and that is make sure that we're carrying the right gear for the job. Uh, so I'm going to start off by... So I, I've got missions. What missions have I got? I've got to kill Fallow Deer with a 243. This is with a 270, although you can't see it. Uh, this is fine. So I need to have both uh, the 270 and the 243 on me. Uh, I'm also going to need something that will take down... So these between them will cover classes 2 to 8. I'm going to need something that will cover class 9 and something that will cover class uh, 1. I didn't mean to take that handgun off. Technically, the crossbow and the uh, Colt will do that. Do I have enough? I don't think I have enough space to bring the king along. I think the king is five in weight, isn't it? Where's the king? Uh, yeah, okay. So I guess we're going with our existing loadout for uh, weapons. We also need to check our callers to make sure we have the right ones. So you call fallow deer. Uh, we don't have any moose here. We don't have any large predators here. Uh, we need that for foxes, this for pigs, then what else do we need? Not you. Uh, not you, we need roe deer and red deer, I think. Red deer, roe deer. Uh, and then if we have the space, we could theoretically have a Canada goose caller. Uh, I don't know if it attracts Grounded geese? I guess we can bring it along and find out. Uh, so there's, a, there's one other scope that I could bring, which is the night vision scope, but I think it's too heavy. It's not too heavy, so I could bring that instead. Uh, okay. Just in case it becomes night time. It's about half past three at the moment, so we've got a little while until then. Uh, okay, we need to set up the uh, handgun that I accidentally took off. Uh, ammo, we'll put in our birdshot. I'm assuming this is not the greatest range. Uh, it's not the greatest range, it's shotgun range. Which is to be expected. Handgun scope. What is our night vision scope? Our night vision scope is compatible with both the 270 and the 243, so that's going to be helpful. Uh, we've got the antler antler, we need the red deer on 9 and the red deer on 8, and that is our usual setup for things. So, let's do a bit of a fast travel. Why is this mission not showing up? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to set a little waypoint for here-ish. Or maybe I'm not, if the game doesn't want me to. There we go. Uh, because before we get to chasing this bison carcass around, I really want to see what happens if you ride a quad bike off of a cliff. <laughs> now, I understand that this is a very stupid thing to want to find out. However, I do. And so I'm going to. Uh, this could be extremely exciting. Or, well, this is definitely, I think, going to result in my death, but it's fine. Let's get the old crimson quad bike. 
Oh my gosh, I forgot how loud this is. Hang on, we are going to have to turn the in-game volume right down. Hmm, or possibly the in-game volume isn't working for you guys at all. No, it is. There we go. All right. Uh, okay. So, let's get going. Where the hell is that waypoint? It should be on my left somewhere. This could feasibly also destroy my quad bike. I've never had my quad bike destroyed before. I don't know what happens if, if it does. Um, oh my god. Whoa. That's certainly some driving. Well. Uh, we're going to stop for a sec to pick up this rest zone. It's always nice to have some of those. Oh, 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 okay, there's rocks there. Right. Here we go, guys. Wish me luck! Ow! Ow! Oh, I fell off. <laughs> That was an anticlimax. Hang on. We'll spin around and give it another go. Look. This is a lovely ledge to jump off. Oh, that was actually kind of fine. To be honest. I was expecting to have like a hell ton of damage done to me. But it was just fine. <laughs> well, that's an anticlimax. Um... Anyway, I have exactly zero idea where we're supposed to be going. So I'm gonna put a waypoint on that and see if we can head over there. Uh, which way are we headed? This way. We're gonna head off down the gorge. The gorge when we were here last time was completely completely uninhabited. Although there is apparently a top hat? Question mark? Didn't I miss before? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Not a top hat, a bowler hat. Either way, it's not what I expected to see. Oh, it's actually a helmet. Hello. Random collectible that was five feet away from my tent. What the hell is that man? Codex. Uh, Hirschfelden. Artifacts. World War II helmet. World War One helmet. Okay. I don't feel like a lot of World War One sort of happened here. No, wait, we're not in America anymore. Yes, loads of World War One happened here. Um, sorry, I was stuck in Leighton for a second there. Um, huh. Well, that's a nifty thing to just find lying around. <laughs> Given that we're in Germany, uh, it may have been the, um, the other side of World War One, rather than our side. It's, it's kind of difficult to say, like, because World War Two, it's very easy to say oh, yes, the, the German side was the bad side. With World War One, everyone did horrible things. You know, like there wasn't one clear side that was like we're going to genocide lots of people who are the obvious bad guys. And I feel like, although I've been brought up to believe that the German side was also the bad guys, that is. A, very much uh, an opinion that's informed by the post-World War II world. And B, that's an opinion that's very much informed by the fact that I was on the winning side. <laughs> you know. Uh, like, at the end of the day, it was a horrifying mess of alliances and stuff. 
and ended up dragging a bunch of countries into what would otherwise have been quite a small conflict. And it was entirely to do with everyone had kind of got everyone was in kind of peak empire and everyone had reached the limits of their expansion without eating into somebody else's empire. So they were like, well, we want to expand. Let's go to war with this other empire, basically. Uh, more than it was about any sort of principle or, or, or morals. And then, obviously, there was the, the, the Treaty of the Site at the end of it, which was, it must be said, a horrendously unfair treaty. Um, not in, necessarily in terms of like the, the concessions that it, it forced upon various countries, although they were pretty harsh, but in terms of things like Germany was, for, was forced to say it was responsible for the war, even though like the war started from an assassination in Serbia or wherever, or was by Serbians. Um, and, and Germany was only drawn in through the same web and network of alliances that everyone else was drawn in by. They had to sign the thing saying, yeah, it was entirely our fault. Like, that's, that's not justice. Uh... I see some little tippy tappy footprints all the way up there. <laughs> right, do we know anything about where this bison is at all? Just find the carcass. It could be anywhere in this quite lots of. Oh, hello. Sizable region. Well, that went well. Uh, first kill of the game. Oh gosh, hello, who's that? Is that a bison? That is a bison. Uh, hmm. It's a bison that I can't seem to spot, curiously. I'm not quite sure why. I'm also not sure why he hasn't run away. Unfortunately, I don't have a close range weapon to deal with said bison. Um, sorry, I don't have a long range weapon to deal with said bison. I am, however, going to put on my big arrows. My big bolts, even. That fox sounded very close. Why can I not spot you? I wonder if you're bugged. I wonder if that's actually the mission bison. Find the carcass. Mm, it shouldn't be our live bison then, should it? Right, what's this? Rindalan Gorge. Along the southwestern part of the reserve you can find the opening to Rindalan Gorge. It stretches into the mountainous area of Rindaland and is a great starting point for hikers who want to continue west towards the Bergen area. Okay. That fox is apparently too canny. He's not attracted by. Oh, oh, tell a lie. Oh, I think the bison left. Um. <laughs> right. You're quite skinny, actually. Oh, beautiful heart shot. Lovely. Yeah, okay, the bison did leave. Is this... I think that's just a generic... Here are some tracks, possibly.
Well, it's weird that that bison made no noise and just vanished without me noticing. That's very odd. I mean, it's probably for the best, given that I've just splattered a bunch of hunting pressure here. Um, but I could have... No, I tell you, the bison's right there still. Okay. That's very odd. Very odd behaviour. But... Maybe we have to shoot the bison? Ah, pal, we got him in the spine as well. I see, that's why he dropped so quick. Oh, and we got a level up. I feel like we got a lot of level ups in the last few streams. More than I might sort of expect. Right, so this is 0 to 40 meters. So theoretically... Ah, oh, we moved just in time. How irksome. You never ever get a follow-up shot with the crossbow. And then that time I nearly did. Um. There's a helicopter outside, I hope you all can't hear that. Um. Oh, go back. Uh Why is it saying wound severity unknown? I shot it. And there was blood. E confirmed trophy? Gaba? Okay. Oh god, has he been eaten by a bison? Okay, I am. <laughs> Sure. I'm very, very confused by what's going on here. So we have a bison with no injuries um, that's dropped its horn on the floor? And... Uh, uh, but I guess that was the bison that I saw. Huh. Well, uh, I suppose it's okay that I missed the follow-up shot then. Someone was just calling. You. You was just calling. I've got a spot of bison, apparently. That's my job. I wonder if I was just supposed to walk up to that thing. What way is the wind blowing? The wind's blowing south. Uh, let's put on my take off gunner's ammo because I don't want to shoot this fox with a rifle if I can help it. Where is that? Okay, that's probably far enough away. If I'm quick. That was fine.
Gosh, we're getting all of the foxies today, which is a nice change. Oh, and there's a feed zone up here, which I'm guessing has now been abandoned after I fired that shot. Uh, Well, I mean, we've had a productive first 20 minutes, even if the, the bison was unbelievably bugged. Red deer feeding zone. And then we get you in everything. Fantastic. Uh, really, I want to be heading west rather than east. I'll have a look over the hill just in case the red deer is still around. It's a shame because this area is lovely and open. Um, I could head southwest through like this whole bit. Uh, what time do the bison drink? Bison should have finished drinking by now. Okay. What are bison doing? Do we know? Don't think we do. Okay, let's head kind of this way ish. Maybe it's better to head down to the house and then back up. Uh, I don't know where the best place to spot a bison is going to be. It's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll travel to this. See what this is, because this is taking us Oh, like directly out of the wind. And then if that fails us, we'll fast travel down to the little house here. We'll head kind of this way-ish, and then we'll go along the gorge side perhaps. Red did took off the run. Very sensible of it too. What does this mission actually say? My poor bison, I hope we can find the cause. I just have to go spotting. I mean... <laughs> the thing is, if I spot a bison, I'm probably going to shoot at it. Unless I spot it from very far away. And even then, actually, bison are one of the few animals that are quite amenable to being trapped. And they tend to not move super duper fast. And they stop quite often. Uh, which allows one to hike up on them with even such a thing as a, as a little crossbow. And my ridiculous, uh, where is it? Shotgun pistol. Absolutely daft idea, but I love it. Um, Tell you what's an interesting weapon they could add to the game, a sawn-off. Um, don't think anybody hunts with a sawn-off shotgun in real life, but it would be funny. Because the... how does it work? The gun controls the accuracy stat, right? And then this just... Uh, the ammo just affects range and class. So you could have the same ammo in different guns with widely less ac wildly less accuracy if one of them is a shot sawn off. Right, we have 
bison for the footprints. They don't look big enough to be bison. We'll find out what they are. Well, they are pig. Piggy pig tracks. Should I follow the bigger big tracks? Maybe I should follow that red deer instead. Uh, we're probably still in wanting to hunt it with a bow kind of an area. Which is unfortunate. Gone over there. I was heading this way specifically for you. You just blew over moved over that way. Lost dear. I'm full of animal. Oh, these are bison footy prints. Stop running away from me! Oh, I'm leaving the area. I think even if I spot the bison now, they will, uh, not be around. I could, however, follow these footprints back until I find a nude zone. Like I could backtrack, theoretically. Oh, that should probably have been a bow shot. Yeah, it's fine, there's not that much overlap. Right, a lovely silver red deer. Oh, apparently that one hit his intestines, I thought it hit his spine. Um, right, so that's any chance of... The other red deer he was calling. So that's why I was having difficulties, because there are actually two red deer. They were bamboozling me. Oh, this is a bison footprint going this way. Uh, there's a, a river ahead of us. Not a river, a lake ahead of us. Oh, there's actually plenty of ice that gone this way. Okay. So we might want to find the tracks that are all going in this direction. I hope that there is a bison at the end of said tracks. And it said bison has not wandered out of the area that I'm in. One of the, the problems that happens with some of these missions go to X area and hunt X animal is that there's not always X animal in X area, particularly when the area is very small. 
Our Rendlin Gorge is large enough, and it does seem that there's enough bison around in this general vicinity that there probably is a bison here somewhere. But like, given that we're right on the edge of the map, there's not going to be any bison in this half of the area, I reckon. Anything to the west of that information point probably doesn't have any animals in it at all. If it does, it'll only be one or two that got there by mistake. Um, so although it seems like we've got quite a large area, the actual kind of real area we have is much smaller. And then we've got the actual gorge, which is not particularly traversable like up and down by animals, only left and right, and so it probably has no animals in it at any given time. Uh, and then you, when you put sort of all these factors together, you realise, hmm, it's, there's not lots of opportunity. Now, luckily, there do seem to be bison that come here. But sometimes you are stuck sort of waiting for an animal that will that just doesn't go to that place. That's why I found with a lot of the quests in Layton. It was like, go to this place and hunt a moose. And like there are no moose need zones there. So you have to hope that the moose is gonna stumble into this area. I think it was um someone's hunting cabin. You had to, to hunt in the the area around that cabin. And there's there's no water there, there's nothing particularly special there. There's no moose zones there, or that there doesn't have to be a moose zone there. So, uh, you know, it's pot luck. And if there isn't a moose need zone in the area, which as far as I can tell it wasn't, because I uh, came back at all hours of the day for several in-game days in a row looking for, for moose need zones. If there is no need zone in the area, you just got to hope that one wanders through. And eventually one of them did, uh, which was very lucky for me. That was a, a lot of time on stakeout duty, basically. Right, there's a bison drinking zone here. If I can get the time for this, then... Even if I'm unsuccessful in finding bison today, I will at least uh, know of a time when I can come back and be fairly guaranteed to spot one. How far away is the other shore? 90-ish? Oh my god, this is a cliff. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did all those bison just go off the cliff there? Oh boy. Oh. I can figure out a time when the bison will be back and I can be more or less guaranteed a spot. And actually, from the other shot, I can probably be in range of a king shot. Yeah, that's, that's king range. Right. What is this mission? The two rodeo weighing at least 25 kilos. Uh, which you might well do. And I have to do it using crying out loud down with a point two seventy caliber rifle, okay. Ah, I accidentally got down. Someone was running away over there. Didn't see them unfortunately. Right, until 2 o'clock, so I can potentially come back tomorrow again. Uh, this could feasibly also be a roaded drinking zone, because there's more tracks here. Maybe not, there's not enough, I don't think. Zero out of two. It's weird when you have missions like this that are like, hunt an animal using deliberately the wrong gun. Because a point two seventy is too big for a rodeo. Uh, point two seventy 
Okay, it's classes four to eight. I'll read this class two. Oh, maybe this is a spot though. Or somebody. It's far enough away from the rest of the bison that it could be a not bison. Pretty prints are small enough to be not bison as well. Right. Oh, this is bison. Oh, are you kidding me? It was 0 0.12 kilos short. God damn! <laughs> God damn! Uh. Gosh darn it. Dash it all. Is anyone on the far shore? No, I wouldn't expect that to be. No one's the blob up so much hunting pressure here. Uh, oh my god, that track is actually sideways. Which is quite impressive. Uh, is this also... To uh, just need to have a little sneeze. Sneeze and use. Um, this is also until 2 o'clock. This needs to right, We are now heading. Oh, for goodness sake, the wind's now blowing west. Of course it is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? It would be useful if it was flowing like, blowing like north or something, wouldn't it? Uh, okay. Options, options. For wind that's blowing southwest. So I could head, start here and head kind of northwest ish. Or here and try and go up this way. I'm not certain if I can get out of the gorge over here. Um, there's only one way to find out, really, isn't there? <clears throat> I'm doing a bit more fast travelling than I sort of normally would. Uh, is there a way out of the gorge up there? Uh, it doesn't look like it does it. I know I've seen a way out of the gorge. Unfortunately I can't remember where it was. Like on... Oh, it's this, it was on this side as well, wasn't it? Okay, right, well scratch that one. I'm probably spooking all of the animals by fast traveling like this. So I'm probably not going to see anything at all. Uh, oh, while I'm here, I've used up a little bit of ammo. I could do some more 270s and some more... F oh, I don't think it's because I'm going to trace them. I'll swap them out for traces, okay. I find though. 270 polys. Fantastic. Now the advantage of this bit though is, although I will have spooked animals by fast traveling here, uh, it is lovely and open. <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of the, the spooking animals when you fast travel mechanic, really. Like, in principle, I understand that you don't want to be able to, like, fast travel and, like, telefrag an owl. You don't want to be able to just spawn and immediately shoot something. So I can understand spooking animals in sort of, like, a 40 meter radius. 
but it's something like a 200 meter radius and that's enormous that means that whenever you start the game and whenever you move to a different area of the game you definitely don't see something for the first five ten minutes like that's guaranteed and that you know if I, i'm like when i'm loading up the game i know i'm going to be playing for like two hours minimum so i don't necessarily mind so much knowing that i won't see anything for the first 10 minutes if i was like a more casual player who only played for let's say half an hour at a time or something or you know wanted a game that i could easily drop in and out of having 10 minutes of guaranteed you won't see anything time every time you fire up the game that would put me off at least a little bit i don't know exactly know where that deal was um he was quite far away as well oh there's a different deer over this way that's the way i was blooming going anyway I am possibly going to go back and forth between these two deers for a while. That's a distinct likelihood. Uh, however, the fact that he responded means I'm pretty sure he did hear me. Which means he's more likely to come to me, because obviously a deer that can't hear me is not going to come to me. Except through kind of brownie emotion. Uh, the idea who did hear me is a lot more likely to come to me. What bolts have I got on? Well, don't you start? Nah, I'm focusing on this deer because it's in the way I want to go anyway. If you want to be hunted, you can catch up, basically. Where are you? Little deer? Little deer? Are you over this hill? He's messed off. How else? Oh, hello. What are you? You're a Rodia at perfect range. I need to try and get you with. This gun I'm supposed to be hunting Rodia with. There's a big old red deer. Oh my god, he did like a roll. Um, well, I hit him twice. I hope I downed him. There's a piggy somewhere over there. Right, now. Where was the little road there? There was the little road there. Didn't die. Irksome. Are you gonna get one? 
29.15 kilos. Yes, there we go. Okay. Fantastic. Right. Oh, that did, did die. Fantastic. Okay. We have blobbed so much hunting pressure all over Tiki now. Uh, it's, it's perhaps a little excessive. Um, we should probably head somewhere. After I've picked up this red deer, we'll probably head somewhere else so that we can get some hunting pressure elsewhere and come back tomorrow for those bison. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, hunting pressure puts off animals, basically, and if you get enough hunting pressure, it starts deleting need zones. Uh, and hunting pressure goes away when you create hunting pressure elsewhere, basically. What the hell is this? Why is it purple? Well, apparently this is another track, I guess, from the same deal that I shot out. Probably. Oh, hello. I suppose I can convince you over this way, can I? Mm. No, if anything, it's simply moving away from me. That's unfortunate. Come here, little dear. Come on. I know I just shot the friend. I know I'm blobbing purple all over this map. But I think it would be really beneficial to me specifically if you were to come within exactly 30 meters of me. And then stand still in one spot for quite a while. So slow going up this hill. I think that deer is going to be long gone, which is a shame because he was in very good gunshot visibility. But he was a bit far for me to be confident with a crossbow shot. That's a real shame. That's a real shame. Oh well. There will be others. Right, we're looking for the last place I saw this this other red deer. Is that blood? That's blood, okay. I sometimes do that. I'll sometimes ignore it, of call for like a minute and then decide, oh, actually, I'm going to go see what that was. Non vital organ hit. I think we've got two non vital hits. <sighs> Curses.
Pigu has also not been enticed over this way. That. Well, I guess that's the length I've been to before. Well, maybe the piggy was enticed over this way and I just spooked it. That road here female would have been a little bit bigger, we would have finished that quest by now. This is gutting. I've got the wind now blowing southeast, it can't make up its mind. Uh, Got to keep an eye out for bison. Oh my god, that's a bison. Uh Sorry, dear, I'll I'll keep you in mind. I know the trails can disappear with time, so I don't want to spend too long, but the opportunity to tick off this quest is too good. Do I want to be moving fast? I'm not necessarily here to hunt the bison, but I would love to if I got the chance. Um, say, and immediately put on their bison hunting arrows. <laughs> um, hmm. Those are like bison footprints? Maybe? I'm not rolling it out. Oh, must be very close. Oh god, and I'm stuck on a stupid hill. That's bad news. Fantastic. Ow. Okay, there's a couple of bison here. They're running, they're running. How did that miss? That crosshair was right on you! Getting late... No, okay. They've gone. But we completed the quest, which is the important thing. ID eat three unique types of tracks from three different bison. Okay, well... Given that we've just scared off a bunch of bison, we'll probably do that. I'm gonna tell them I've talked because it's getting late. Uh... Oh, this is apparently a bison feed zone. 
that's nice. Uh, let's actually do this challenge quite quickly if we can. That's one. Wait, that's a pig. That's also a pig. Hang on. Right. One bison, one type of track. Two bison, two types of tracks. And a bison poop. Uh... How many bison were just here? Looks like a bison poop. Up here. Number three. Fantastic. We'd like to investigate the possibility of sterilizing the female bison. Could be easy to harvest at night. Harvest the female bison at night. It's a good job it's nearly night, isn't it? Um, fantastic. I'm astonished that that didn't hit. That bison shot. I don't even know why. If I had tracer arrows, I would know why, because I'd be able to see where the bolt went. Sorry, tracer bolts, I'd know where the bolt went. Um, sadly, we are not even afforded that luxury just yet. Uh, let's put on my knife to the numbers. Yeah, I know, you're one. You're very upset with me for running, and I understand that, but I have a... I have a deer to get back to. Uh, I probably... also want to put on my microscope. The lack of zoom is annoying, I must admit, but uh, it's, uh, sometimes it's worth having, sometimes it's not. If you've got a really nice, lovely, clear shot to something, then you might as well just use the Hyperion, tag it, and then go for it. If you've got an obscured shot, It's more kind of 50-50. Because the Hyperion is good for its additional zoom, but the night vision is good so, so, so you can place the shot in the bit that's exposed, but the night vision is good so that you can actually see the bit that's exposed. Like, there's no one right answer. Because we're spotting, you get an outline of the thing. Um, so it's quite easy to place your shots with the Hyperion. Oh, hello. Peas. That's over there at clock. Meters. It's quite far, there's a lot of them. They are pretty much universally size 2. They also have a in the middle of a huge old blob of hunting pressure. Which means I don't really want to go for them unless I can bow kill it. Even then, it might be a bit much. This is at 2. No, this is a three, this is a two. Probably not worth it. If there was a particularly stunning, spectacular pig, I might think about it, but there's not. Okay, here's our deer body. Oh, they are upwind.
that no, that leads us right on the edge of this three pasha already. I don't want to add anything to that. We'll let the piggies live. Hello dear, I'm sorry I didn't shoot you quite as well as I intended to. Oh, that was a spine shot. You went quite far for a spine shot. And then this was... It said a non-vital organ hit, but this... I don't seem to have actually hit it at all. So I'm quite confused as to how that works, but okay. Right, what other quests have we got? What other quests? Uh, we've got to harvest a female base of bison at night, which would be nice. We've also got to go to Hirschfeld and, and find some foxes. So where's this? Oh, that's quite far up north. Okay, or... We've got the Rathenfeld Strawfields cabin, which I've been to! Actually, we went to last stream! Oh yeah, you can see that. Let's not go back there just yet, then. Well, I guess... Oh. See, I'd like to go for bison. I know there's loads of bison up in this area. Are there going to be lots of bison in this area? We can travel to Bondorf. See if we can get across the river. Into Hirschfelden. Because night time's good for fox hunting. We'll see if there's bison up here. There may be, there may not be. I can actually check wind direction. If this is going downwind, then it's a non-starter. Um, I don't have lots of other options. I'm gonna call for it. The animals that scream out when you just arrive never ever ever come for you. Oh, however, there is a lovely mutant here, which I will have unfortunately spooked everyone away from, but it's worth tagging so I know who comes here and when. Well, this is a lovely wide open area. Why? A shame it's completely empty. Yeah, the only other option I have for getting to her shelf is to like come up this side and go in at the bottom, which isn't Super ideal because it's not close to any lookout towers. Where the hell's this thing gone? Oh dear. Huge wide open area. Absolutely no one in it. Is this thing active? Oh, it would have been active right now. See what I mean with the zoom being an issue? Hmm. 
Seems like it. Rubbish. Shots like this. Oh, hello. You died in the end. Which is good at least. I wasn't expecting you to come actually, even though I did blow for you a few times. Uh, it was with no expectation that you would actually emerge. Uh, I'm sorry again for shooting you badly. Okay, I'm gonna switch off the... I'll switch it on situationally. Oh, that was blooming close. Actually, I don't think I, that the, the Hyperion would have helped with that, to be honest. Uh, that was so close to a heart shot. Ugh. But, okay, we've got our fox hunting started. A little soon, unfortunately, but we got it started. I have zero idea where I'm going to cross this river. I hope I don't have to go all the way to there to cross the river. That would be nightmarish. I could try going up and around, but that's probably like out of map. I don't think this is a whole new area. It might be, but I don't think it is. I could give it a look. But I'd rather see if I could cross the river at some point. There's footprints down there. There doesn't seem to be a drinking zone though. No, that's out of any distance. That's a cute little line of that in the middle, but uh with no hope of getting to it. So I assume there aren't any others on the time. Well, I imagine if you were just the one bison who was now stuck on that island. <laughs> uh, right, the wind touchwood has become a teensy bit more favourable. I also keep forgetting that there's no need to check the water because there's no ducks in her shelter. I'm always on the lookout for ducks. Thinking, oh, yeah. Some of them. Oh, bison went the other way. So there are bison around here. Need to look out for. We've done a female one. Although I will say. He said sterilizing them. While a dead bison, I suppose, is technically sterile. Oh, there's a little house over there. And a little jetty. Getting ready for the uh the angler call of the wild crossover. <laughs> um There have been more foxes coming this way. Uh, and what was lovely wide open terrain has become a lot more bushy. Which is a little bit of a shame. Is it technically night yet? It is technically night. Oh, and my, my PBA is broken. Fantastic. Amazing. Wonderful. <laughs> ah. Sometimes I hate this game. Oh my god, that scared the ever-living daylights out of me. Well, there's foxes by the dozen here. I don't 
This is also true if and when I get across the river. Come on, where did you go? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not that bit. Where are you? I hate when it, it when you get a call soon after a previous call, it doesn't give you the the SoundCloud thing for it. So you don't know where they're coming from. Which is really annoying because that that echoed so much it could be almost anywhere. Wait, I think I just might have just seen them. Oh, yeah. Got a flash of of a prompt. I'll deal with you in a sec. You run away now? It's very possible. Okay, dear Cora. They're downwind of me, so I'm not expecting them to show up. Well, at the very least, I want to pick up the string zone. Even if the fox attached to it has vanished. Which I assume it has at this point. No. Far back. Doesn't work for anything. Okay, so late evenings is fox drinking hours apparently. Which is earlier than perhaps I expected. I always expect them to be more coyote like in their behaviour than perhaps they are. Can you hear me? Maybe not. I'll blow my vehicle again. Just in case. John's door. An info point or a thing. I guess that's that. It's like right out in the middle of the water. Guessing over there is where those deer were. And that nice open bit. It's no longer there. Most things are tracks from the same foxy. This is presumably the way the foxy fled. Well, actually, these tracks go sort of all over everywhere. <laughs> so who knows? Where the foxy fled. Uh, this is a horrible hill.
I do feel like you should actually be better at going up slopes when you're like crouched down or on, or on your or in a crawl rather than worse. Because if you actually wanted to go up a really steep slope, you'd use your hands as well. You'd kind of get close to the ground and, and you'd scrabble. But in this, if you want to go up a slope, you have to stand up as tall as you can and run as fast as you can. Which is silly. There's a rest zone. Yeah. I don't think anyone is currently attached to it. There's a oh my god, blimey. That fox is talented. Not expecting him to come say hi. God, the, it's so loud though. Oh, I haven't turned the volume back up for you guys, so you're not getting spooked as much as I am. There we go. Ah, oh, bison rests only till half five. And then... Deer feeding zone. Alright, you're up here somewhere. Okay, he didn't, he didn't... Uh, come to play, but... We were able to get him on the way out anyway. This is the closest point of the, the two things. So this is where I'm going to start. And I mean, if I go down the river, eventually I will come into the area known as Hashfelden anyway. It would just be nice to cross the river a long time before then. Um... But absolutely loads and loads of foxes out in John's Dorf and wherever we were before. Where were we before? Burndorf. Oh my god, another one. Also down with us. Don't expect miracles. Not worth a blow. Where the hell is this fox body? Uh, fox body? I hate when this happens. You kind of get to a certain distance away and you can't see it anymore. I should be on top of it. It's there. More feed zone tracks than I think. Oh, oh, he only just about tip, tipped his lungs. Little fox. Little fox is gone. Little fox knows what's good for it. Gone. Yeah. There's a, a fox that is heading away from me. Like this. There's a hillside with a feed zone. So, we'll pick that up, and we won't be too sad about missing the fox. I 
Uh, we are at half past it. We're at twenty past one. Um, uh, I said this was going to be a bit of a shorter stream. I'm only planning on going until two. Uh, absolutely no one is here anyway, so... It's not exactly going to... I don't think if I do... New feed zone. Oh, this is an evening feed zone. That's good to know. For my potential night bun bison hunting... Night bison? Night bison hunting quests. Uh... This river does not look like it wants to be crossed. This big problem I have with Hirschfelden is the water is an almost impenetrable barrier in most places. Oh my gosh, there we are. Oh, he's so far away. Please, please blow, thank you. I think it was too far away. It said like 300. Uh, you coming back? I'm guessing probably not. Honestly. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, you're only 100 meters away. Amazing. Oh my god, that was like on top of where I shot the last one as well. Jesus. Uh... I'm gonna cross the river and there's gonna be absolutely no foxes anywhere, aren't there? Uh... Although the way this game works is, the 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 animal spawns. Oh, bang! Through the heart. Difficulty three, very easy. Even though I'm sure that said difficulty five when I was looking at it. But okay. the way this this game works is, the respawns are. So when you kill an animal, it doesn't respawn immediately. It like enters a buffer. Uh, there's a buffer of I don't know, let's say five animals. I don't know how many. Uh, and so you, you load up that buffer with the species and gender of animal. So I've killed that fox, which I think was a female fox. So there's there's now a female fox in the buffer, and then before that I killed a male fox, so there's a, a male fox and then a female fox in that buffer. And then when that buffer fills up, uh, I am led to believe, the next time you kill an animal, it it puts that in the buffer at the bottom and then takes one out of the top and spawns an animal of that kind within, let's say, 500 meters of you. So if you kill a bunch of foxes, which I have done, then if you go on and kill any animals in Hirschfelden, the next few animals that spawn, theoretically, will be foxes. That's my understanding of how the, the spawning system works. Uh, and so, presumably you could use this to sort of almost, like, teleport animals from one side of the map to the other. I don't think it quite works like that, in that I think animals can only spawn at, like, certain spawn points for that animal, which I don't exactly understand how that system works. But I think that's kind of the gist of it. So if you kill only, because this is how people do what they call Great One grinding, which is possibly the worst way to play this game anyone has ever come up with, but anyway. The way you do Great One Grinding is if you only kill male Whitetail, or recently uh, they added the, the Red Deer Great Ones, if you only kill male Red Deer, then all of the animals on your reserve are going to stay exactly the same, but the male Red Deer will... Um, will be constantly cycling out because you kill a male red deer and it spawns a new male red deer because you've got a red deer in your buffer. 
Um, so you just cycle through just the male red deer. And if you only visit the same few places, uh, which is what you do when you're, you're great one grabbing, if you only visit the same few places, then your re new male red deer all spawn in kind of roughly similar locations, uh, so they're more likely to go to the same need zones, which means you can then find them easily and shoot them again. When you're when you're grinding for white tail deer or whatever, all you do is you you find a bunch of white tail need zones that are well drinking zones particularly because they're by lakes and when they're when you're near a lake you've got a huge big sight line on Leighton. Not like this where you can't see five meters away from the shore. In Leighton, when you're near a lake you've got a huge sight line. Uh, you then go to all of the other nearby drinking zones and you hunt a bunch of deer on top of them so that they get deleted and you try and push the deer from those need zones towards the same body of water that your dis existing discovered drinking zone is on by, by accumulating hunting pressure on all of the other water bodies nearby. So you end up building up a massive presence of white-tailed deer at the specific place that you want to hunt. Uh, and then you do this for a number of different lakes. Uh, you know, Leighton has a whole bunch of different lakes and pretty much everywhere on the map you'll find white-tailed deer. And then once you've got that setup done, all you do is you fast travel to a tent, go to the tripod that you set up right nearby, look across to see the deer drinking, you shoot all of the males, just enough to not erase any drinking zones. Um, you, you shoot a bunch of males, you then fast travel to the next tent, go into your tripod, shoot across the lake to the next lot of males, and so on and so forth. And then once you've visited all of your drinking zones that you have set up in this way, you just fast travel to a tent, and then change the time back to the start of the drinking zone time again, and you go again. And people shoot hundreds and thousands of whitetail males this way, just you know, trying to, to farm basically for a, a great one spawn. Now I, I'm quite lucky in that I got a great one whitetail spawn without doing any farming. Uh, and in fact, the great one whitetail that I got was in an area of the map that I'd never been to before. So must have been sort of there more or less from the start, because I don't think I'd ever killed a whitetail in that area to like have a new one spawn in. Um, so I, you know, maybe I'm speaking from a position where I didn't have to grind to get a great one, but if I hadn't got a great one that way, I wouldn't grind for one. I would just be happy not having a great one and on the lookout for one in the future. Because that's sort of the point, is that they're supposed to be these unbelievably rare things that you stumble upon just by happenstance. And farming for them, in my mind, kind of completely defeats the point. Uh, but you all know that I play this game in sort of a certain very particular way. Uh, I tend to just kind of hunt whatever I come across. I don't generally have like a dedicated hunting uh, I don't have like a dedicated hunting session for one animal. Like I'll go after missions and I'll prioritize mission animals. But uh I won't focus my whole gameplay around like one particular kind of hunt. Uh, I think that is the, the better way to play the game. I am not going to find a way across this river, am I? Can I see over to where that is yet? No, okay. That's my next best bet for a crossing point, where the river is particularly thin. But in ge geography, uh, you'll know that a river that is thin tends to be correspondingly deeper. Uh, 
there's a one particular place in I think it's in Wales, I'm not certain. It's either in England or in Wales. Where there's a, a normal river, much like this one. And then it narrows to only a couple of feet wide at most. Like you could easily jump across the river if you so chose. But of course it's still there's still the same amount of there's, there's still the same volume of water passing through that river. And all that's happened is the river has sort of effectively turned itself sideways, so it's very narrow at the top, but it is as deep at that point as it would usually be wide at a, at a normal flowing point. And because of this, it's an extraordinarily treacherous piece of water. I'm not sure if anybody who's like ever gone in has survived. Like, it's phenomenally dangerous. Uh, so... The narrower part of this river, if the people who put them up together know their stuff, might be too deep for me to cross anyway. Uh, what is that? I can't remember what it's called. I, th I think it's called something like the Devil's Cauldron or something, because, you know, that's what, <laughs> that's what all m mildly exciting places in Britain are called. <laughs> um, the Devil's What's It, the Giant's Thumbnail, the... Dragon's cross-eyed granny. Um, uh, oh, there's nothing here at all, is there? We're not far away from technically her Sheldon. The question is, oh, things flowing south, so I don't want to go south. No, the question is going to be, do I go? towards this lookout point, or do I go over here where there might be a house? The answer is I go here where there might be a house. Because um, it's less south. It's still a little south. The wind is not super in my favour, but it's less south. And there are little footy prints. So someone has... Oh, there's a rest zone. It's completely downwind. So whoever was there that would be long gone. But it's nice to have something to put on the map at least. Yeah, the footprints, this might be a red fox rest zone. Could also be a roe deer. They're about the right size. Um, it's solitary, which inclines me towards fox. We have a ye here. Hi there, ye. How are you doing? You are sad today. Why are you sad today, ye? Feel like you've been scanned. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. It's definitely nothing to do with me. <laughs> um, you're honestly Bert happy. I assume Bert means very, but it could, I guess, feasibly also mean like not at all from context. Oh, you got seven hundred dollars today. That's very nice. Uh, although I'm under the impression that lots of things are very, very expensive in Australia, so it's not quite as nice as what I'm thinking. Because what I'm thinking is it's worth like seven hundred pounds. Uh, but actually, seven hundred pounds British pounds is now only worth about seven hundred US dollars, and seven hundred Australian dollars. Is going to be different to that again. You're playing something diff. What are you playing? It's different. I'm intrigued. Ooh, 
Sea of Thieves! I do love a good bit of Sea of Thieves. Uh, I've never streamed it. But uh, I have a, a crew that I have occasionally been known to play with. Uh, I haven't played it since the new season though. So there's all sorts of weird things that have been going on in like the Sea of Thieves Reddit or whatever but I have no idea what they are. Oh, this is so far. We're not going to get to that house by the end of the stream. Um, oh, also, as you're the first person here to witness it, how do you like my shiny new channel name with no underscore on the end of it? Ooh, hello. Ooh. Very hello. Trash. <laughs> ah well, I tried. Um, I'm very happy. It's actually been a long time coming, but I've not tried to sort of spread it about that too much, just in case somebody sniped it before I noticed it that, that the version without the underscore had become available. Because uh, I was waiting after after somebody else who had that username changes it out. It then stays out of circulation for like six months. Um, so the original Diz for Demise with no underscore account had to change their username and then I had to wait for it to uh, be freed up. Wait, when was that? Who pigs beat at funny times? Time is it now? Half nine. What's wrong now, are you? Apart from the fact that we haven't seen any animals in like 20 minutes. Um. <laughs> You're being chased by a shark. Oh, rip, ripperoonies. Are you solo slooping? Because that's always a rough gig in Sea of Thieves. Um, Just no sign of life here at all. Well, animal life. We've I mean, got four people. Uh, as much as I appreciate your presence, why, why are you listening to me and not, not, not listening to the people you're boating with? Um, <laughs> or are you playing with like puppies? We may not have voice chat enabled, in which case that makes a lot more sense. I'm also sort of hoping if I ask you enough questions, you'll have to stop to type back to me enough that you, <laughs> your boat will just go away without you, because I'm a meanie. Um, they're fully on screen and I'm like, ah, yes, okay. Never the ideal playing companion. It's why I don't play. I mean, any game really with puppies apart from Team Fortress, which has no voice chat. And even then, I haven't played Team Fortress in a while. And it's just not worth dealing with children and people who can't be mature and people who can't you know, say anything other than like racial slurs and what have you. You know? 
I, I just choose not to subject myself to that, even if it means missing out on certain games. Love Hunter voice chat because they're all old chill guys. I've never, I've never pubbed with Hunter people either, but uh, the Hunter community, as much as it's, it feels kind of weird to me because you know it's a lot of particularly kind of quite old male, let's say Republican leaning Americans who are the sorts of people who I do not particularly have very much in common with at all. Despite that, it is very chill. And we've had people, you know, come in here in the chat who are, you know, the, the kind of people who are attracted to this game because they're Americans who hunt. And I can't get up until now. Um, and they've been really nice people, perhaps nicer than I might have expected. Uh, that's a bit... Uh... It's nice to find commonalities with people who you, you would not expect to find commonalities with. Uh, what would be nicer to find, though, is literally anything moving that I can shoot at. <sighs> there have been a... It's because this, this bit of river is so steep. We're in like a gorgy section. That's what the problem is. Now we go to Fortnite game chat. I have never been to Fortnite game chat. I have watched uh, my youngest brother. He plays Fortnite. He's like 19. He's, a, he's not like a young person playing Fortnite. But uh, given the reputation it has for being kind of a, a young person's mini game, I was impressed by how competent a shooter game it was, even if I wasn't a huge fan of the like building mechanics, which I know is Fortnite's sort of whole raison d'etre. Uh, oh, this hill is horrible. This hill is truly awful. And it's raining, amazing. I mean, animals do come here because I've seen their tracks. They're just not here now, which is when I need them to be here. Come on, guys. I don't mean you little seagully things. You don't count. Well, this will be fine, I thought. We'll just we'll just go here, we'll hop right across the river, we'll be in Hirschfelden, ready to hunt foxes. Everything will be lovely. And instead I'm stuck on a hillside in the dead of night. The rain has just stopped, but I was previously in the pouring rain. Completely on my own! <laughs> Thank you for emphasizing my point. I mean, on the plus side, I'm sort of nominally following some foxy tracks. I think they're quite old foxy tracks. But I think they are also going in the same direction that I'm going. So, you know, maybe one, when I eventually cross this border, there'll be a fox at the other end of it and we can all go home. Actually, we can't go home because I have to hunt three of them, don't I? Yeah, I've done three of them. Oh my god. Uh, what time is it? Two minutes past ten in the game. This is actually a pig track. Have I been following a pig this whole time when it was a fox? It's very possible. 
I'm not that bright. No, there, there were fox tracks there, okay. I haven't just been completely stupid. Huh. Uh, for you's benefit, my plan is to do a shorter stream today, so you've joined a little bit near the end. My plan was to only go until 2pm. 2, 2 that is because, uh, later, sometime probably around... It might be around 5pm British time, it could alternately be around 8pm British time. I'm hoping to stream a new game that is coming out today at something like 4 o'clock. Um, Called the Spirit and the Mouse, which I am very excited to play. It looks absolutely adorable. Uh, it's a, a sort of a little adventure game. It seems definitely quite stray esque in nature. Did I just hear footsteps? Or was that just rain? I don't know, it was just rain. Uh, yeah, it seems quite stray like in, in nature. In that it's you play as an animal, you go around sort of helping everyone. Uh, but it looks very cute. Big lag. Uh, there's absolutely nothing I can do about that at the moment, I'm afraid. Uh, it sucks. Oh, I'm very sorry. Are any processes running that I can turn off? No. Exactly zero. Uh, I can actually hear my little old PC getting really warm. That's probably why. Probably using up all of my CPU. What does OBS think? Yeah, OBS reckons that you're getting a 60 frames per second, 2.3% CPU usage experience. We back? Oh, okay. Maybe OBS wasn't lying. Um, it has been known to happen. Oh. We're away. From the river a bit now. I might aim to intentionally intersect this lake. Although I'm not certain if we're going to get there in time. <laughs> and even if we do, I'm not certain there's going to be anyone there when we do. Uh, I tell you what though, the rain is actually lovely. I know I was complaining about the rain earlier, but the, the rain is genuinely lovely in this game. Oh. <sighs> I'm also curious to know, Yi, how many viewers it's telling you that I currently have. Because my little um, chat monitoring app purports to have uh, a view account on it. But I don't believe that view account because it says I've got 19 people viewing at the moment. <laughs> so I want to know what Twitch says. Uh, That's a lie, it's a big lie. It's not even a believable lie, which is the worst. Um, yeah, it's what I, what I assumed. Um, 
I will have to see if I can give it a, a bit of a kick up the backside um, off stream. Figure out why that isn't working. It's a relatively new thing, it didn't used to do it. So. Uh, we have more tracks up ahead. I have zero hope of them being attached to anything. But we have tracks. This is more like the early game. This is what I remember of the early game, just like bleak riversides that you can't see very much on, completely devoid of animal life. We've decided to encounter a bit of hill that my little person doesn't like walking up. Marvellous. Hell. God, I hate the hills in this game. Let me up, you horrible thing. No, I don't want to be stuck in your hole. Ay vey. Ashfeldon, you are actually genuinely boring me right now. <laughs> I haven't seen an animal in half an hour. Maybe more. Well, at least there's a nice little rumble of thunder. Uh, and I can't even experience how pretty the game is because it's night! Is that Hirschfelden within Hirschfelden within Hirschfelden? <laughs> what, what's the half of Hirschfelden isn't Ritterstein called? Sorry, what's the half of Hirschfelden within Hirschfelden that isn't Ritterstein called? Your teammate left you on an island or in the middle of the sea, or they disconnected. Um,
he says yes, leaving me none the wiser. Or maybe all of the above. They left you on an island in the middle of the ocean and disconnected. I mean, four-year-olds be like that sometimes. It's a sad trace of the world. We've now gone over a hill, and we've got... Oh my gosh, a foxy, a foxy, a foxy, a foxy, a foxy. Okay. We're gonna beeline straight for the foxy. Because this foxy is the whole reason we're here. However, oh, he sounded quite far away. So he might not be within range of our caller. We will blow it again. Microphone for a moment so that I can cough and not deafen everyone. Uh, goodness gracious me. Come on, Foxy, this would be a great end to the stream. This would be a fantastic way to end the stream. If I was scripting this, I wouldn't have included such a long period where nothing happened. But if I did script this and did include such a long period where nothing happened, I would definitely have an exciting hunt at the end, culminating in us grabbing our first foxy for the quest. Hint, hint. I don't know where you were. My sound cone is not. That's what it's called, a sound cone, not a sound cloud. <laughs> SoundCloud's when you make music and no one's paying you for it yet. Uh, you say things like you weren't muted. I, I must have been muted because I hit the mute button. Um, oh my gosh. Not the best shot I've ever taken. I was actually hoping for the crossbow, but I pushed the wrong button. But we got a foxy. Okay, amazing. Uh, thank goodness that wasn't like an amazing fox that I just ruined by shooting it badly. Uh, whew, right, that's where we're going to call it for today. Uh, so thank you everyone very much who has been uh, with me this entire time. Uh, I am aiming to be back, as I mentioned, later on today. Uh, hopefully streaming some of the Spirit and the Mouse. Uh, it looks really cute. I'm very excited for it. Uh, expect a tweet about that later. Uh, you can find my tweets uh, at Diz for Demise on Twitter. Now all of my socials uh, have the same name. It's wonderful and glorious. Uh, if you're here with me on Twitch, uh, please do consider dropping a follow. If you're watching this later on YouTube, where I archive all of my content, uh, please do drop a like and maybe consider subscribing. Uh, it's lovely to have each and every one of you along for the ride with me. Uh, until later then, uh, I'm going to bid you all adieu. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Uh, thank you, Yi, very much for showing up and, and speaking in the chat. Sorry that I'm heading off a little earlier than usual. I'll see the rest of you later today. Ta-ra!